Hey everybody, quick study ball here. Great conversation on Twitter with uh, QB School. JT O'Sullivan does a great job of breaking down tape and, and teaching the game. Uh, and then a number of other coaches and individuals on Twitter about a play that happened in the Panthers Commanders game this past week. Bad play design, how do you read it? Bad decision by Baker Mayfield, all these different things. So I thought, hey, let's jump into the tape room and let me talk you through what I was thinking if I would be running this play, what I would have been thinking playing the quarterback position, uh, everything from play design to thought process as a quarterback as I'm processing the information and making my decision. Okay, so here's the play. All right, it's going to be a deep post by Robbie Anderson. Tight end here ends up running this kind of thing right here. Uh, we're going to run a deep over and then a shallow, and then the back's going to check down and come that direction. Okay, so a lot of lines, but uh, a lot of people will run what you call the double post over combination. Then on the over combination, you've got something that's going out here to the flat, so you can get your high low to that side. In this particular case, it's the shallow coming from the other side. Okay, so we've got... Uh, Coverage wise, you could say it's a quarters look, possibly. Okay, each of these guys covering a quarter of the field. If you wanted, you could say, well, maybe it looks more like what we call a cover six. This guy's rolling down, this guy's playing a deep half, and then we've got quarters to this side. Okay, however you want to describe this after you see the, the, the play play out and, and the defense react off the snap. So anytime I get a quarters look, to the front side, okay? We're gonna send our tight end here, um, and he's trying to use up this inside safety. If this inside safety works with him, I'm saying to myself, I'm gonna hit that outside post, okay? So I'm reading inside here first. As I go to throw the outside post, if I can feel this corner attach to the post where I don't think I've got leverage, then I can work down to the over shallow from there. But with quarters, expecting this guy, especially with a tighter alignment, this guy to be outside leverage. If I can get this guy to move, I'm thinking outside post all day long. Now, we talk about design of this play. To me, this guy right here is so vital that A, we're getting inside and we're trying to get through the inside toes of this safety, okay? We wanna get his shoulders turned to open up the outside post. Once I get through his outside numbers, what I'd like to do is stay down the middle of the field, okay, at least to a degree, stay down to the middle of the field, and if there's anybody or nobody back there, so if this guy goes back here and gets up over the top, I can flatten this off late to make myself the throw if this safety or a one high safety is going to get depth and take away the outside post, I can flatten this thing late and give myself an opportunity, but it's vital that you stay on your course here. So I take this guy out, keep him running with me, and then stay on my course, and I'd like it to be not crossing the middle of the field, okay? I'd like to not cross the middle of the field. I start crossing the middle of the field, this guy gets involved with the inside post, it allows this guy to fall off for the outside post, so I wanna influence this safety, and then I wanna run through this safety, so as he's coming across, just by vision alone, it's gonna to be tough for him to run past me to cover the outside post. So you're gonna see right here, Baker comes back, sees the coverage, finds the safety. Safety does exactly what you want. He turns and runs, telling us I've got the outside post. Look at this corner. This corner's turning, his back is turned you know, to, to the quarterback right here. This is a throw. This is the throw that you make on this particular play. I need this guy to run through here and hold that guy off just enough, because you're gonna watch this play out, right? It's a good throw, and it's right there, but the safety's just coming in at the last minute to break it up, right? All I need to do is get through here, okay? Get through here to hold this guy. If I'm going through here and I'm as a quarterback able to see that guy and feel that guy, and he wants to continue to run over, now I've got all this space over here to hit the inside post if he's not coming flat. Instead, 
he turns this into a flat, like an in, which frees that guy up. That guy's got no responsibility now to the deep half. There's nobody over here because everybody from the other side is crossed over. And now he's able to be freed up to go make a play on the football. And by the same token, Baker, instead of being able to throw this ball out to the near hash and lead Robbie Anderson, almost has to hold him up because that safety's coming from the backside and now the ball comes outside. Now I get it, okay? If you get the read here and you feel on this throw that this guy's gotten too much depth, and this, again, doesn't happen until the throw. I don't see this because I'm reading in here until it's time for me to set and make the throw. If on the throw I feel like this guy is over the top or in a position to break uh, that up, then boom, we're going right here, over, shallow, off the outside linebacker, and you see it right there, how it would have played out. This outside linebacker playing flat. This is a huge throw, may even score a touchdown here. But we gotta be careful not to coach off of results, right? Oh my gosh, you threw that, but look, this guy's wide open, might have scored a touchdown. Yep, yeah, I get it, but let's play the position. Position says, I get a quarter's look to the front side, and I feel like this guy's playing deep half, which he's playing deep half. I mean, he is outside the hash, in between the hash and the numbers, he's playing deep half. I have to expect this guy to influence him. If he doesn't influence him, that guy's got no responsibility because everybody over here is going the other direction. So we could say, I don't know if the tight end was supposed to do that. I don't know if this is play design. So maybe that's in the play design, running an in right here, which you will see a lot of guys run the in and the post concept versus quarters. But if this is true double post, which it, to me it should be because this guy's running an over. You don't run an in and an over together very often. But again, I've seen stranger things. Um, but he runs through there. And again, not easy for a tight end, but run and stay on this angle. Stay on this angle. Just influence this guy a little bit. Just let him see you a little bit so he can't free up and beeline it over here to the post. Right, and then you're coming down to one of these two guys and, and the people that say, oh, everybody's chasing, throw your check down. It's almost impossible to get to your check down uh, and go through that progression. Uh, but again, that can be a late happening if things fall apart. But to me, good decision by Baker Mayfield. Right decision by Baker Mayfield. Got everything we want right here. Got my fast guy running the post. We just didn't do a good enough job holding him on the backside and that forces a little tighter throw. That forces the backside safety. Doesn't uh, help that I got a guy in my lap as I'm trying to finish the throw as well. But to me, this is not on Baker Mayfield. That is the right read. And again, wouldn't have been mad is if he comes up to throw the post and feels like this guy's turned and is getting really, really deep. I wouldn't be mad if he goes high, low right here. But man, this is the NFL. If I get a defensive back to turn outside, I get the inside safety to jump a double post I am throwing that post every time and go getting a touchdown. To me, that's a plus for Baker Mayfield. So there you go. That's how I would teach my quarterbacks to read that particular play. It's on me to make sure that a backside half field safety cannot get over and, uh, you know, and take away a front side outside post. So I mean, by me, I mean play design. I mean making sure that I've designed it in a way that I use up that backside safety because he did exactly what I would have done off the front side, made the throw that I would have made off of what the corner did there. Uh, and again, as he comes up to throw, if he feels that corner is playing the post really, really well, no problem. Take an extra hitch, get your eyes on that outside backer, high low him with the over and the shallow. But to me, absolutely nothing wrong with the decision and the throw that Baker Mayfield made.